Hey everyone, I'm Rachel Bateman and today I'm going to tell you publishing's biggest secret. Are you ready? Are you sure? It's a big one. Okay, here we go. The biggest secret in traditional publishing is that you, as the author, you hold the power. We talk so much about agents and editors and publishers and we talk about how lucky it is to be plucked out of the slush pile and get an agent and how fortunate we are that our editor liked our book and decided to buy it. We talk about them as gatekeepers and about how it's so hard to do anything without them. Now I am not at all discrediting agents or editors and publishing houses. They have their place and they are vitally important. My agent is the best partner for my career I could think of. I love my editor. They work hard for me. They do wonderful things for my career and I am not discrediting them at all. What I am saying is don't give all your power to agents and editors. You hold the power because without you, Without us as authors and the worlds that we create and the product that we make when we write books, there would be no need for agents or editors or publishers. They would not exist without us and the work that we do. Remember that when it's time to sign with an agent and you're interviewing your agent and asking questions to see if they're a good fit for you. Remember that you hold the power so you don't have to sign with the first agent who offers if you don't feel like they're going to be a good fit. Or if you find out that they only ever ever sell to tiny houses that don't need agents. Or you find out that they don't really have the kind of connections that you're going to need to further your career. Or if you find out that they've done some really shady stuff in the past. You don't have to sign with an agent just because they're offering representation. Because you hold the power. They need authors for their livelihood. Yes, it is incredibly flattering for an agent to offer representation and to want to represent your book and your career. That is amazing. It is such a great feeling. And I think it is vitally important for you to have an agent for your career, someone to go to the publishers, someone to negotiate on your behalf, someone to do the dirty work so you can focus on the writing. Absolutely. I 100% recommend getting an agent if you want to be traditionally published. Absolutely. But don't go into it with the mentality that you will be so incredibly lucky for someone to offer representation and that you'd be so incredibly lucky that someone wants your book and just so incredibly lucky and owe this debt of gratitude to an agent because they want to represent you. It's their job to represent authors. That's how they make their money. That's how they survive. They aren't showering you with luck and good fortune. It's literally their job. You are the creator. They need you to have a job. Now, yes, they have other authors, so maybe they don't need you specifically, but us, a global whole of authors, agents wouldn't exist if we did not create books. You hold the power. And when you have your agent and you go to publishing houses, it is wildly flattering when one of them wants to publish your book. It is such an amazing feeling that someone says, yes, I love this book. I want to buy it. I want to publish it. This is going to be great. You still hold the power. Without your book, without authors creating products, publishers wouldn't exist. They would have nothing to produce and nothing to promote and nothing to do. You still hold the power. So when a publisher tries to give you a really, really crappy contract, you don't have to sign that just because the great almighty publisher wrote it like that. That's why you have an agent, by the way, so they can negotiate things like that for you. Because again, that is their job. You don't have to sign a predatory or crappy contract just because you're so lucky and so blessed that a publisher would want to work with you. You have the power. You can walk away from a contract that does not work in your favor. You can go somewhere else and you can keep going. Now, none of this means that you get to be arrogant 
or rude or ultra demanding or expect to get things, especially as a debut author, that publishers don't give to even their more established authors. It doesn't mean you get to micromanage every single thing that happens because, yes, the publishers need you and they need your product, but they know what they're doing. This is their job and they have done it for ages and they've honed it in. Do they always get it right? No. Publishers put out bad covers and they botch promotion campaigns and sometimes they publish really, really bad books and make them their front list biggest hyped title of the season. They don't always get it right, but for the most part, they know what they do are doing. They are a team of professionals who are trying their best to make your book the best it can be so you all can be successful. So when I say that you as an author have power, I'm not saying to be like arrogant and let that go to your head and make obscene, outrageous demands and just be hard to work with. No. We don't need to be hard to work with, but we also don't need to roll over and do anything that we're asked, and we don't need to bow down at the feet of agents and publishers because we're so lucky that they'll even consider looking at our books. They need our books. They need us. They need authors, and authors hold the power in the publishing relationship. So don't ever forget the power that you have. If you feel like someone is trying to take advantage of you, you're probably right. It happens in this industry all the time. If you feel like this agent maybe isn't a great fit for you, don't sign with them. Don't sign just because you are afraid that no other agent will ever want to sign with you. Keep going until you find one who is a good fit. And that reminds me that I really do need to make a video about dream agents and what a toxic mentality that is. So like note to self and note to you that is coming. Back to what I was talking about. And don't feel like you have to sign with a publisher just because they're offering you a contract. If it's not a good contract for you, if they're not willing to negotiate or budge on anything, if it's just not something that is going to be the best for you in your career, you don't have to sign a contract just because a publisher says so. Not every publisher is great for every author. Not every agent is great for every author. We all need to figure out what the best team for us individually is. Us individually. Like, I work with words for a living, y'all. You need to figure out what the best team for you individually looks like. Who the best agent for you is. Not the best agent for the person you just talked to. Not the best agent for this big best-selling author. The best agent for you. And the best editor and publishing team for you. We all need to figure that out individually. And remember, when you're trying to do that, that it's okay to walk away from an offer of representation or a publishing deal if it's not the best thing for you. Because you have the power. You can write more books. You create worlds. And they need those books and those worlds in order to have a business. So authors, let's stop hyping up this false narrative that agents and editors hold all the power and that we need to bend over backwards to try to appease them. Stop talking about how incredibly lucky we are if an agent offers representation. Is it a great thing? Yes. Will it further your career? Yes. Can you feel blessed? Can you feel fortunate? Sure. But let's stop saying we are lucky. We are not lucky when an agent offers representation. We are a good author who has worked hard to create a good book. Is there a luck aspect because timing and all that? Sure. Sometimes you just end up in front of the right agent at the right time and there is an element of luck. But don't discount all the work you have put in because of that tiny, tiny little element of luck and timing. You are amazing. You have done the work and you hold the power in your publishing relationship. And don't ever forget that. I am Rachel Bateman and I'll see you back here in my next video.